Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. And in this quick video, I want to cover OpenAI's announcement of the Search GPT prototype. They just announced this today, July 25th, and very, very big news in the world of AI. As you'll see, they do a quick demo right here of what this is going to look like in real time. Now, I would suggest going to their Twitter or X account where they have the full video here. Um, I'll be sure to leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. Um, but I would first suggest watching this quick video demo of what Search GPT will look like in real time. Now, if you come back to the page here on OpenAI's website, the very first thing I would suggest you do if you're interested in these types of things is click join waitlist. So all you have to do is click join waitlist. And now I'm on the waitlist apparently. So that's pretty easy to just get on the waitlist here uh, for Search GPT. They have more information about what it is after you've joined the waitlist. Um, so another quick demo here, um, another demo here. So just really quick synopsis on this page as well. But if you scroll down here, there's just a few other things I want to call out uh, before kind of diving into other parts of Search GPT. Um, and so the big thing is, is that this appears to be what we've all been waiting for since May. So if you remember, I'm on the verge here. Uh, OpenAI was supposed to reveal a competitor to Google search, and this article came out towards the beginning of May. So there's been some, you know, rumors floating around of OpenAI working on an AI powered search engine. Uh, and it appears search GPT is what that is. So I'm going to X out of that. Uh, some other things here that are really interesting is if you remember OpenAI has been partnering with all sorts of these publishers, the Atlantic being one of them here. As you'll see this quote from the CEO of the Atlantic saying, AI search is going to become one of the key ways that people navigate the internet and it's crucial in these early days that the technology is built in a way that values, respects, and protects journalism and publishers. Now guys, let's be honest here. OpenAI is not out to protect journalists and publishers by any means. They're out to make money. So in my opinion, the reason that they're partnering with all these big companies like the Atlantic, uh, the Financial Times, the New York Times, Dot Dash Meredith, they're partnering with all these major publishers, in my opinion, to avoid future lawsuits down the road. They've already been involved in several lawsuits with the New York Times, for instance. And this is my, I mean, in my opinion, this is the way that they're mitigating the risk here is just partnering with them up front, probably paying less in partnership fees than they would in legal fees when more lawsuits would eventually come down the road. So I think this is all a gimmick when it comes to them partnering uh, with companies to protect journalism and publishers, big time gimmick in my opinion. Uh, that's just my take. So again, back to search GPT, it says it's designed to help users connect with publishers by citing and linking to them in searches. So here's an image uh, of what this would look like. And again, it's right inside the chat GPT interface, or at least it appears that way. Um, so that's a pretty big update there. And then here's more uh, quotes from another person from a media company. And at the very bottom, they say, what comes next? And OpenAI says, we'll keep improving the experience in areas like local information and commerce. That's a pretty big deal when it comes to search. We also plan to get feedback on the prototype from users and publishers and bring the best of experience into ChatGPT. If you're interested, sign up for the waitlist. So I just did that. Now, if I come back to ChatGPT, I mean, you can already do a web search to some extent if you're on the pro plan or plus plan of ChatGPT. So I can say something like, um, what is the price of Bitcoin, right? Some sort of recency search that would prompt an internet search. So it says here, searching for the current price of Bitcoin, search three sites. So it's already doing this to some extent. And then it lists off Coindesk, um, being crypto, however you say that. Um, so it's already doing this to some extent. It's just going to take it to another level. Now, the thing that comes to my mind instantly when I see this search GPT is what happens to perplexity, right, guys? So this isn't perplexity's entire business model is what search GPT is already doing or referring to what they're going to do when it's launched. Um, so I think if this is launched successfully, I do think this puts perplexity in a lot of trouble. I do not think that this search GPT is going to come and eat any market share from Google search anytime soon. I think there's a very long way for that to happen. Um, but in the short term, when it comes to perplexity, I think perplexity is probably shaking right now as they're going through and watching this. So if you go to Twitter, you can read all sorts of things of what people are saying online about this. Uh, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, uh, he said, we think there's room to make search better than it is today. As an SEO, I completely agree with that. We are launching a new prototype called Search GPT. We will learn from the prototype, make it better, and then integrate the tech into ChatGPT to make it real time and maximally helpful. 
Uh, and then you can re read all the replies here. Um, and, and he's good at replying to some of the people that reply back to his tweets. But obviously, too, you know, I'm in the SEO world, guys. So this is a really big deal when it comes to SEO. There's still a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of implications here. Um, how is that? How is ChatGPT going to reward small publishers, small creators? Will they even reward small creators at all? Uh, just some questions that I'm pondering through my mind. But you know, that's all I wanted to cover in this quick video on the release of Search GPT. Very big deal. A lot of implications. Uh, this could really impact a lot of AI models and a lot of just AI companies like Perplexity right now. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel at AI Insider Tips. I also want to hear what you guys think in the comments of Search GPT. Do you think Perplexity is in trouble? Do you think Google Search is in trouble? Where do you see this all going? And again, be sure to visit my website at AIinsiderTips.com if you want to see all the written reviews of all the videos that I do. Uh, there's just more information on there. But that's it, guys. Again, this is Ryan. Appreciate you all being here, and especially if you've made it this far. Really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you all have a great day.